What's up Majesties? It's Yara back with another Majesty hair care video. So a couple weeks ago Lady Majesty posted a video of her doing a roller set on a woman with 4C hair type. The video did really well on Instagram and the woman's hair turned out so beautiful so I thought I'd give it a try on my own hair texture. So this is the final hair look and I don't know I think it turned out pretty cute. So I thought I'd make a hair tutorial video on doing a roller set yourself as opposed to having someone else do it and um, I just wanted to share my tips and tricks on how to get this look as easily as possible because I don't know about you guys but rolling my hair is like such a task like it's stressful but I think this process will make it a little bit easier on you guys and of course I used the radiant shine therapy spray like why wouldn't I <laughs> and this spray really makes the process a lot more easier because it adds so much shine I don't know if you can see but like it adds so much shine and softness to my hair and it makes the look so beautiful. So this is definitely a must have when completing this look. Okay, so first step is to do this on clean hair. So you'll want to shampoo and condition your hair. I know some people like to leave conditioner in their hair after they've shampooed it, but I think for this look, it's best to rinse out the conditioner. So you'll definitely need a few things to do this roller set. I'll start off with the combs. You'll need a wide tooth comb a rat tail comb. For brushes you'll need either a hard bristled brush or you'll need a vented brush. Um, I'll explain later on in the video how you'll choose between whether to use these two. And then you'll also need a paddle brush. For products you'll need a leave-in conditioner, some Lotta Body which I put in this spray bottle, and the Majesty Radiant Shine Therapy Spray. You'll also need some hair clips just to pull your hair back and make things easier. You'll need these long pins to secure the roller. These will definitely make your job easier, especially if you're a beginner in rolling your hair. And then of course you'll need the rollers. I use this size roller um, because I like a more looser curl and a curl with more body. Um, so the bigger rollers will give me that look. If Okay, I just wet my hair a little bit more because it was getting dry. I like for my edges to be smooth, so I'm going to add um, some gel to them before I start rolling my hair. So first thing I'm going to do is add some leave-in conditioner to my hair um, to add some moisture in there so that it's easier to work with when you roll your hair. And this will also um, help to tangle my hair too. So saturate your hair in this, get it all over the ends and the scalp. So then I'm going to comb out my hair just to make sure I get out all of the um, tangles. My hair gets tangly so fast. Man, I just combed this out. Okay, so next step I am going to spray my hair with the Majesty Radiant Shine Therapy Spray. Make sure to get it all on your ends and in your scalp. This is what really sets off the roller set look. And you can already see how much shine that has added to my hair. It worked so fast. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to start rolling the hair. We are going to take the Lotta Body and I put it in the spray bottle just so that I can spray it onto my hair a lot more easier. A lot of people don't like using Lotta Body because it tends to harden your hair and give it a crispy look. However, a trick on taking away that effect on the hair is using it with the Majesty Radiant Shine Therapy Spray because this shine softens the hair. So if you use a product that makes your hair more crispier and hard, spraying this on top of it and in combination with it will soften your hair and give you that softness that you like while also giving you a nice hold that you need as well. So I'm going to start off with rolling the front half of my hair. So I'm going to section my hair ear to ear. So I'm gonna take the Lotta Body Spray and I'm going to Spray the ends of my hair as well as the scalp. Make sure it gets nice and wet. 
So now I'm going to section off the, the first part of my hair that I'm going to be rolling, which is going to be right here. And I usually roll my hair in small sections because the smaller the sections you roll your hair, the straighter your hair gets. So whether or not you use a hard bristle brush or a vented brush is really dependent on your curl type. If you have a tighter curl pattern, you'll want to use a hard bristled brush because the bristles are harder, of course, and they um, stretch out your curl pattern a lot more. If you have a looser curl pattern like mine, you'll probably want to use a vented brush. So again, it really just depends on your hair type and you know your hair the best and you know what will tame your curls the most. So really just choose which brush you need to use dependent on how your hair is. Okay, so I'm gonna use the hard bristle brush first just so you guys can see how it works on the hair. And you're gonna wanna smooth out your hair and really comb those curls flat and stretch them out so that you can apply them easily onto the roller. So another thing before I roll my hair, I'll get there, just wait. The direction in which you roll it is dependent on how much volume you want. And that, let me explain this. So if you roll your hair upwards like this and down, that means you want high volume. So your hair is going to be more vol voluminous. If you roll your hair outward like this and roll it in, that means you want lower volume. But there'll still be volume, but just not as much volume. And if you roll your hair downward like this, that's gonna be almost no volume at all. So how you roll your hair is really dependent on how much volume you want in that section. So for those of you who are still lost, I'll show you. Okay, so I moved the camera up so you could get a better angle. But like I said, you're going to brush your hair upwards if you want high volume here. If not, you'll do the other directions, like I said. And then you'll take the roller and make sure once you roll it onto the end of the hair, that the hair is nice and wet and sticking to the roller like that. And you're gonna hold the hair very tight as you roll down. Make sure you hold it tight and make sure there's no buckle down here because the tighter you hold it, the smoother your hair will come out. And then you're going to take a pin and you're going to pin it down at the scalp. Just like so. <gasps> we did it! Okay, so I'm gonna get another strand of hair and keep applying the lot of body so that your hair stays moisturized so that it's easier to work with. And then I'm going to take another section of hair. I'm gonna comb it. Get the tango out. And now I'm gonna use this brush just to show you the different effect it has on the hair. And then I'm gonna take another roller. And again, I'm going to roll it upwards so that this piece of hair has a lot of volume. And I'm going to stick it onto the roller, make sure the ends stay on there nice and tight. And you're gonna add a lot of tension to the roller so that your hair turns out nice and smooth. So I'm gonna keep on doing this and I'll fast forward some time so just you can get an idea of what it's supposed to look like and the process of it all. So. <laughs> so my hair is all rolled up now as you can see um, a lot of the rollers look kind of like randomly placed because I did have to try to fit them all on my head um, but that's okay it doesn't have to be like in a perfect row or anything like that as long as you get the job done and they're on there secure you should be fine I'm gonna go under the dryer now probably honestly for about like an hour and a half because my hair is pretty lengthy 
and it does take forever to dry. But um, the amount of time you're under the dryer is really dependent on your hair length and the thickness of te and texture of your hair. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys once my hair is all dry. Okay guys, I am back. My hair is all dry. I took out the rollers. I was going to show you me taking them out because I'm sure that's something you'd want to see. But I had a problem under the dryer. Um, there were so many rollers in my head and my head didn't fit under the dryer so I had to basically dry the top half of my hair, take out the rollers once that was dry, and then <laughs> dry the back half of my hair. So I couldn't really show you taking out the rollers. Sorry about that, but yeah. Um, it took about two hours to dry. I want you to see the curls close up. It's very shiny, very pretty and bouncy, but it is hard. So, um, like I mentioned earlier, the Lotta Body hardens the hair because it basically is a hold. Um, so that's why I said that you should spray the Majesty Radiant Shine Therapy Spray on the curls just to loosen up that hold and make the curls nice and soft. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Much, much better. I am going to straighten uh, my scalp a little bit. Um, you can see there's still some wave in there just because I do have natural hair, so of course that's gonna show up. So I'm just gonna go over the scalp um, with an iron just to like straighten that out a bit. And this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. It's just it's my preference, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so once you're all done with that, you are going to take your wide tooth comb and you're going to comb through the curls. You could just play around with your hair, get the look that you want. It's cute, classy. You see the body in the back. It's very, very cute. Okay, so another very cute look that you can do with this roller set. You can actually loosen up the curls even more and give it more of a sleeker, straighter, voluminous look by brushing out the curls with this paddle brush wrapping your hair and then going under the dryer for like 10 to 15 more minutes and then the heat will basically relax the curl. So I am going to brush out these curls with the paddle brush. Brush your hair again with the Majesty just to make sure it has softness and shine. And then you will brush your hair forward and then wrap it. Mom's getting tired. Okay, so once you are done wrapping the hair, you will take a head wrap, of course, to secure the hair so that it does not um, move around. And I twist it just to make sure it's like nice and slick. Okay, so I'm gonna head under the dryer for about 10 to 15 more minutes and I'll be back to show you the results. Okay, everyone, I am back from the dryer. I'm gonna take down my hair. There you go. And you can see this is like more of a straighter, sleeker look that still has some body, but it's just not as much body as, of course, when you just comb out the curls with a wide tooth comb. 
And like I said before, it shows a lot more of your hair's length. But here's the back of it, just so you can get a feel what you're gonna be working with. Very pretty. My hair is very, very soft now, thank goodness. The majesty took down that very hard filling on my hair and softened it up quite a bit. Very grateful for that. I just love how healthy roller sets make your hair look. So remember guys, this right here, the Radiant Shine Therapy Spray, is a must have if you're gonna do roller sets. This is what gives your hair this shiny, healthy, soft look. This right here, so don't do your roller set without this. <laughs> so there you have it, that is how I achieved this roller set. I hope it helped out a little bit. I know that doing a roller set yourself can be very challenging. And please send pictures or videos of how your roller set turns out, I'd love to see that. And if you'd like to purchase a bottle of the Radiant Shine Therapy Spray, you can go to www.majestyhaircare.com. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see ya.